You got a license to carry that body? No. Do you have a symbol to carry that brain? You worry me, Red. You always give me the brush. I'm used to getting tons of action. You couldn't get any action if you strapped yourself to a jackhammer. <laughs> the Sultan of Swat. Who is Babe Ruth? Yes! Yes! I got it! What is it, Ralph? Oh, I am this close to realizing my lifelong dream. <laughs> yeah, I may be a contestant on Jeopardy. <laughs> You? <laughs> on Jeopardy? That's right. Me, Jeopardy? The one with all the tough questions? Yeah, they're having auditions this week, and I practically memorized this book of facts. Well, good luck, Ralph. <laughs> you know, you can win a lot of money on those game shows. I, know. I once won a small fortune on Bowling for Dollars. Really? <laughs> My friend bet me a thousand bucks that I wouldn't moon the pin boy. <laughs> If I could get the help of the right coach, I know I could make it on Jeopardy. Oh, who are you going to get to coach you, Ralph? Just the smartest man I know. Hey, John, John, go ahead, try me. Go ahead, go ahead. Okay. Ask me a question. Any question. Uh, based on a Charles Dickens novel, it was a British musical about an orphan. What is Oliver? Very good, oh, well, Ralph. Hey. Its atomic nomenclature is N-A-C-L. What is salt? Wow. Who's that senior hall? <laughs> Very good, Ralph. Now, if there's anything the rest of us can do to help, please don't hesitate to let us know. What is group support? <laughs> what is shut up and sit down? Correct. Well, why don't we start? Excuse me. Yes, dear, may I help you? I'm looking for the folks with the wrecked marriages. <laughs> well, I hate to admit it, but you found us. Come in, dear. Whoa! <laughs> Welcome to the one-to-one -one club. What's your name? Oh, Mary Beth Sutton. Everybody! Hi, Hi Mary Beth! Beth. <laughs> Kirk, Kirk Morris, I would personally like to welcome you to our little family here. Allow me. Uh, thank you, Kurt. That's very thoughtful. I'm Louise. This is Ralph, Kate, John, Mrs. Filbert, and Tom. Hi, everyone. Mary Beth, it took some time before any of us felt comfortable speaking about the breakup of our marriages. In time, I'm sure you'll feel comfortable talking about your marriage, too. Now, who'd like to start? My husband was dirt. <laughs> My marriage started falling apart when I told him I was more than just a decoration in the bedroom. I got angry with him, but he just ignored me. I think you're going to be very good at this. <laughs> Thank you. You know, I left Vernon because I was tired of just being the wife of one of Maryland's largest car dealers. I wanted to write for the magazines, but then he said I was too cute to be taken seriously. Well, you are very cute. God, I hate that word. It, it is overused, yes. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. But just because of the way I talk and look, every guy I meet wants to treat me like I'm some sort of Barbie doll. You too, huh? <laughs> I'm asking too much from man. No, you're not, Mary Beth. You just want a man who respects you for what you are, not for 
for what you look like. Here, here. <laughs> you agree? Absolutely. <laughs> oh, Kirk, come on. <laughs> now, I know you all get tired of hearing me say the same thing week after week, but when I get to know a woman, it's on a very deep level. I don't know how many times I've forgotten from one day to the next what a woman looks like simply because <laughs> I was so focused on who she is inside. That's incredible. Unbelievable. Just last week, I was supposed to meet my friend and equal, Jane Fonda, <laughs> at the mall, and I walked right past her. Jane Fonda. Please. I don't like the name drop, and it's not really pertinent to the story. <laughs> the point is, because I was so focused on who she is inside, until she threw her arms around me, I didn't even recognize her. Oh, come on. When you look at me, mm -hmm. what do you see? <laughs> A pioneer. <laughs> A woman of substance, a woman of vet, a woman with vision. Kirk, you are a breath of fresh air. A woman with no sense of smell. <laughs> All right, I'm ready, coach. Ask me any question on this page. Mm, round, round, later, okay? We'll go back to my place. All right. We should never have let Kirk sit alone with Mary Beth. She's everything he looks for in a victim. Pretty and naive. Breathing and conscious. I mean, just because I am not afraid to cry in public, is that a crime? If it is, then lock me up and put me in worse prison. Carl, you are so special. By any chance, would you like to come back to my place for some coffee? <laughs> Coffee tea, I don't know. It's such a, an aggressive drink. Maybe, why don't we just go over, have a cup of herbal tea, and maybe discuss world hunger? Excuse me, Mr. Morris. Uh, Do you have an urgent long-distance phone call? Who is it? Greenpeace? Uh, I'd better take this. It could involve sea turtles. Well, you take that call. I'm gonna go to the little girl's room. <clears throat> um, don't believe a word they wrote about me in there. <laughs> Could we appeal to a sense of morality? Kirk's sense of morality? <laughs> Bartender, no more drinks for this man. <laughs> Hey, 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 am I sensing a little hostility here, John? Yes, you bet you are. You are playing with the emotions of a sweet and innocent girl over there. John, we happen to be having a very moving and meaningful conversation. About what? Me. <laughs> John, I need a small loan, just enough to cover my tab, and an extra five for the waiter. No. Come on, John, I don't feel right sticking her with the bill. <laughs> Not on the first date, anyway. You should have thought of that before you invited her in here. All right, John. What? <clears throat> I don't like to bring up things from the past, but uh, remember that time you were coming down with the flu? It was freezing outside, you lost your wallet, and you needed to get home. You gave me money for the bus. What? And I did that without any intention of getting paid back. I paid you back. But that was not my intention. <laughs> I was willing to part with that money for a lifetime if necessary. Kirk, it was a dollar. John, we're not talking amounts here. We're talking human emotion. You don't have any human emotion. <laughs> Maybe not, but I got debts. <laughs> and I thought that I had a friend. <laughs> okay. This is the last time, huh? The very last time. How much you need? One. But, um, if it's really the last time, I'll take 400. <laughs> How's everything at Green Peak? Uh, bone ass. I cannot tell you how much it peeves me to know that somewhere out there at this very moment, a Japanese person is chasing a whale. Good night. Good night. I always wanted to 
flirt myself. But my husband told me it was unladylike. Oh, that beast. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's just that I've always felt that when men deny women the opportunity to express their feelings, they're only cheating themselves. Oh, there I go again. I must be boring you, silly. Oh, no, no, no. You're not <sighs> boring at all. You really don't mind a woman being assertive? No. And you don't think it's wrong for a woman to feel as strongly about a man as a man feels about a woman? No. Good. Then you're mine. Oh. 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 Whoa, 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 whoa. Mm -hmm. I haven't done this for a long time, so you better be pretty damn good. Grand Dame of the Moscow Art Theater. She emigrated. Who? Ralph. No, I mean it. Who is Maria Ustinskaya? <laughs> yeah, well, let's just keep going. Oh, the guys at work are gonna go crazy when I win all that money. <gasps> I'll be the toast of the Lincoln Tunnel. Ralph, Ralph, don't get carried away. Don't I'll, get carried away. I'll still be humble, John. I won't forget the common man. The little guy in his car reaching up to me with his quarters. I'll still take him and say. Have a nice day. <laughs> but now I won't have to mean it. Thank you. Yes. Wow. Wow. Right. Whoa, 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 whoa. Slow down here. I mean, it's one thing to be a living room champion. It's another thing to do it for real. Uh. Now, remember, you're going to be in a studio with the pressure of a live studio audience staring at you. <laughs> and millions watching at home. Like your family and friends and your, and your co-workers down at the tunnel, all hoping you're going to come up with the right answer. Okay, now for final jeopardy. Caused by bacteria of the genus Pastorella, this typically fatal disease is often transmitted by fleas. What is it? What is it? Oh, what is it? Splash some cold water on your face, okay? No, I... Into the bathroom. Oh, what a waste! I spent all that time getting smart for nothing! <laughs> John, it's a good thing you're home. I have to talk to you about something terrible. What is it? What's the matter? John? I failed. I'm not a man anymore. I don't even deserve to be in these pants. Now, Kirk, don't take this wrong, but nobody deserves to be in those pants. John! Okay, okay, okay. Does this have anything to do with Mary Beth? Oh, great. It's all over town already. Oh, no, come on, Kirk. You're not the only guy who didn't score on the first date. Oh, no, John. It's worse than that. In the heat of battle, I couldn't get my soldier to salute. <laughs> Kirk, uh, I, 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 are you... Uh, That's right, yeah. Mm. That's right. <laughs> I'm, uh... Oh. Mm. Um, uh... <laughs> Infinite. I got the big eye! <laughs> Kirk, what are you doing here? Oh, uh, just visiting. <laughs> what are you doing here? 
Just visiting. How'd it go with Mary Beth? Great, why shouldn't it? Uh, how's everything going with Jeopardy? Great, why shouldn't it? Well, say hello to Mary Beth. Yeah. Oh, say hello to Alex Trebek. Oh, yeah. Sure. Well, now never mind. Oh, uh, this is the absolute worst night of my life. Oh, oh come on, oh. Turner, come on. There's got to be a simple explanation for what happened. You were overtired. I was raring to go. You had too much on your mind. Zach, you drank too much. Not a drop. Then again, you might be impotent. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Fighting for my life with Mary Beth. You should have heard her with the instructions. Touch me here. Don't touch me there. Stop, stop. It was more complicated than setting the timer on my VCR. Well, there you go. There you go, Kurt. You couldn't perform because she scared you to death. What's the difference why it happened? It happened. My life is over. Oh, come on. Don't be ridiculous. It happens to a lot of guys. Why they just, no, they that. just don't want to talk about it. Man, that's all. Man, you're just trying to make me feel bad. No, no, no. I'm not. I'm not. It's true. Actually, true. Oh, all right, you confided in me, I'll, I'll, I'll confide in you. It happened to me once. Yeah, I was, uh, with my wife in Cincinnati. Oh, that's different, John. You had a real excuse. Why? <laughs> Just because I was with my wife? No, because you were in Cincinnati. <laughs> all right, don't dwell on it. Well, it's not all that embarrassing. I mean, it's like what Louise was oh. talking about in the group. Oh, no, the group! Oh, no, what if Mary Beth blabs? Everybody's gonna find out. I'll be the laughing stock. That's it. I can't go back to the group. What do you mean? You can't leave the group. I mean, everybody there thinks of you as... You're the one that's supposed to be... You're very... Well, anyway, you can't leave the group. <laughs> Give Mary Beth a little credit here. She's not going to talk about this. I can't take that chance. My reputation is on the line. Oh, will you stop letting that damn ego get in your way? I mean, there's a lot more to being a man than living up to your dumb, macho image. I should have known better to come to you with a problem like this, John. Any guy that is anything is macho. <laughs> Clint Eastwood, John Wayne, Stallone, Schwarzenegger, mm. Chuck Norris. Those are men. Yeah? What about Schweitzer? Einstein? What about Gandhi? Gandhi? <laughs> <laughs> Get real John. Come on. The only time Gandhi got under the sheets was when he was wearing it. <laughs> problems tend to be a little personal. I mean, I think there's a more appropriate place to talk about things like that than a support group. John, button it. <laughs> Come on, dear. Last Friday night, I invited Kirk back to my apartment. <laughs> you see... Just a little mouse around my husband. And I thought the answer was to 
go the other way, to be more assertive. So, I did something completely out of character for me. I decided to be the cat, and Kirk was my mouse. <laughs> I threw myself at him. And do you know what Kirk did? <laughs> Nothing. He refused to take advantage of me. <laughs> this caring, sensitive man <laughs> was a perfect gentleman. No. <laughs> Surprises. I'm not saying it was easy. <laughs> After all, I am a man. A man's man. <laughs> and denying this young lady went against every fiber in my being. But there was Mary Beth. A delicate little flower. Trembling at the timber line. Should I pluck her? <laughs> no. <laughs> Not Sir Kirk the Temperate. Uh, Kirk, 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 maybe you uh, maybe better quit while you're ahead. Oh. I mean, th there might be some other people who'd like to talk to me. Right. I'm sorry, John. I am hogging the floor. John, you probably want to tell everybody about that time in uh, Cincinnati. <laughs> Sam's leaping into the life of a football hero and looking to score some points with his best friend on an all-new Quantum Leap. And Friday night, the True Blue team goes into action a little earlier at 8, 7 Central and Mountain, followed by an NBC world premiere movie, Murder in Paradise, Friday night only on NBC.